Um, just doing some pre-fishing. That's right, walking the bank, doing pre-fishing. I caught my first ever uh, fish on this new rod and reel I got. It's a frog rod set up, and it was on a frog. So tomorrow, I got a tournament on Chickamauga Lake. It's actually one of the closest lakes that we do in the circuit that I'm with. And this is back with my, I did a couple of tournaments. This one's back with my regular uh, group that I do uh, tournaments with. And Chickamauga Lake is probably the one I know the best as far as like, I know a lot of the places, but actually a lot of other people do too. I'm gonna do what I know. I'm gonna go to my strong suits and um, I am going to hit a lot of the creeks that I wade through. The water's up high enough. I know the bass are up in there. What, am I gonna catch big ones? I'm not sure. I, I guarantee somebody's gonna catch some 20, 21 inches tomorrow. But I think I have a really good chance going shallower than everybody else wants to go. Of course, luckily I know these places. I'm gonna bring this frog rod, but the only other thing I'm bringing is yum dingers. I got a box ready to go. That's all I'm taking with me. Yum dingers, it's probably my main lure. And I, if, since they're hitting this frog, I kind of want to see if I can get one on a frog. Been a hog and he's going to be picking something lands out of me. Throw the rod in, <laughs> jump in the water. Well, yeah, I had to run to Walmart. A uh, whole crew, we're going to be staying at a uh, Airbnb tonight. So, got to get a couple things, get some drinks. I forgot my cooler, but the, the tournament is from 6 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon. So, hopefully it won't get too hot on us. But uh, I'm going to grab a few things in here and be ready to go in the morning. It's morning of the tournament. Um, I'm actually right across from a boat ramp and there's a bunch of boats pulling in. They must have a boat tournament going on, which this lake, Chickamauga Lake always has boat tournaments going on, so. All right, it's fishing time. It's gonna be a fun day. I got a really good feeling I'm gonna catch a lot of fish. I'm definitely fishing my strong suits. I put in across my boat ramp and I'm gonna go shallow and stay shallow and I think I'm gonna catch a lot of fish. I don't know if I'm gonna place because I think somebody's gonna catch some big fish. Lines are in now. The sun will be up here pretty soon, but I'm already gonna start fishing. Oh, it's a big fish. Dude. I just lost like a four pounder at least. Oh, my first bite today. Oh man, I hope that doesn't come back to haunt me. First bite. Didn't even know he was on there. It was one of those soft little bites. And it turned out to be, oh, that was a good fish. That was at least 18 incher. Like I, I got a, at least a good look at that. Man, that's, that's sickening. So yeah, the only thing I brought to me uh, brought today was yum dingers and a couple frogs. And that was a, I thrown the frog just a couple times, but that was, a, that was the first, uh, first bite on a yum dinger. All right, we got a fish. Not the giant that I lost. We got time to make up for that. Let's just get, uh, gotta get our three, limit of three, and then, then we'll worry about upsizing. It's 12 and three quarters. It's a three fish limit. Fishing until two o'clock. It's already muggy and the mosquitoes are kind of bad back in here. Too. This guy looks like he's been cut a few times, but he's a solid fish. 14 and three quarters. That's a that's a solid one. With uh, with the limit of three, 
you know i would i'd love to get like a 20 incher and my smallest maybe be that one there so that's um we got we got two on the board and that one was only about 10 minutes after that last one holy cow where did that fish come from Oh, how did I catch that fish? I reeled all the way up, was sitting down to about start pedaling, and I just looked down and I saw this fish just come eat my lure. If I hadn't seen it, I would have never known he was there. I had a really good feeling I was gonna get a limit in here and it paid off. I wasn't sure if there'd be other guys kayaking up in here because it's a pretty common area. Boom, 14 and three quarters. I don't think I've ever caught a limit this fast. It's seven, 10, hour and 10 minutes into the tournament, I got a limit. So you know what that means? That just, it relieves a lot of pressure on like just trying to catch fish. So I got uh, two 14 and three quarters. And I think, I, I think that one was a 12 something. So, you know, now I'm like, okay, let's just get over 15s just get some 15 inches and just start like culling those other ones out. Pass right in front of me. Oh, there were, oh there's several bass right in front of me. I, all of a sudden I just saw these bass cruising. Just not, just really just Slowly swimming around. Oh, oh, got one, got one. I think he's gonna be an upgrade, maybe. Yeah. Where'd he go? Wow, that was cool. I'm just watching these fish right here. 15 and three quarters. That's kind of, I knew that they were going to be like spawned out bass up in here. I was pretty sure of that. And I don't mind catching them because they don't have to be heavy to win this tournament. Just got to be long. Oh, this is a big one. Oh, he's solid. He's solid. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. This is really close to where I lost that big one. I, I'm pretty sure that bigger, that one I lost was bigger than this, but that's a nice fish. I've been working this area really slow because I know there's gotta be fish holding up in here. I've always seen them. There's like a bunch of log jams. There's a bunch of stuff in here. So I'm like, I'm like working through here extra slow and it paid off. Sunk that by a log after sinking it by a bunch of other logs and I got the biggest fish today. Not a giant, but let's see here. Let's see how long he is. Oh, he's over 17. That's good. 17 and a quarter. That's a nice fish. Oh, no, no. He jumped out. He got out. I. What is happening? 17 and a quarter. That's like a. Uh, I was on. That was another inch uh, more upgrade. A couple inch upgrade. Uh, probably inch something upgrade. Anyways. I pushed him down and I kind of pushed him out because I was trying to get him to close his mouth. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what's happening today. If I end up losing this thing by like just barely, it's my own fault. But hey, we got plenty of time. We're going to keep on fishing. Keep on doing the same thing we're doing, to, just like we got that one.
Oh, this is a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Stay on, please stay on. Okay. Oh man, he ain't done yet. Hey, hey, come on, come on. Come on in, come on in, come on in. This is what I needed, yes. Oh, yeah, before I get too excited, let me make sure I get a picture on the board. This looks like the one I lost. It's in the same area, and I think it may be the same fish, but who knows, there could be several like this. Dude, fishing this just almost painfully slow is getting fished. Yeah. Let's see how long he is. I hope he's 20. I would love for it to be a 20 incher. Yes! Okay, okay. Now the important part. Lay your tail down. Oh, yes. Dude, we got it. 20 and a quarter. Now I really wish I had that 17, but I don't feel so bad because this was like five minutes after that catch. Oh, dude. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. Oh, that could be a big difference maker for today, for sure. I mean, guys could get bigger, but that is a good one. Sometimes that could be a biggest fish. Now, we are in Chickamauga, and there's lots of those guys out there. Oh, man, I'm excited. I think I can get another one. Oh, I'm still not going to upload my stuff yet. It's still too early. It's uh, 8, 12, two hours in. I'll, I'll wait till about 9, 30 or 10 and then I'll upload. I mean, I, somebody out there could be crushing it, but I guarantee you there ain't nobody's got three bigger than that. So that just means if I got at least one that big, that's a that's a really good fish. If I'd have had that 17, that'd have been an awesome like third fish, uh, been a great second fish. So, oh man, I've had a couple chances and I've really only fished a small area of water been really going slow working it. Let me show you how I'm fishing. So my goal today was to use yum dingers because I, I know it's gonna catch fish. Like it's been working I've, everywhere I fished recently. Plus this color has been working great. This is a four inch uh, bubblegum yellow swirl and I've got it paired with a small hook but it's a razor thin hook. It's a two aught hook but it's very thin. That way I'm, a, I'm throwing it on a medium setup when I, I don't have to put a lot of pressure to get that hook in there. I've, I've done it before. I've paired it with like a bigger hook. You know, I'm like, I want a bigger hook, you know, wider, you know, stronger and everything, but it doesn't hook them as well as these small ones. Now I'm probably not going to put this small hook on a, like a heavy setup because I'll, I'll bend it out. But on this medium, I'm pinning them and I'm getting these fish hooked and I'm just hooking it weedless like that, where I can kind of skip it through, let it sink and it does well. So. I'm gonna put it back on there and we'll get back to fishing. Oh. Got a little one taking off with it. I was wondering what's going on. There's the little guys. I knew they'd show up some point today. It's all right. After catching a 20 incher, I'll take a. <laughs> Uh, eight inches. One of the cool things about this lure is it's uh, <laughs> it's so bright colored. I can see it disappear when a fish bites it. Little guy there. I just kind of made a random cast out into the middle. Might be an upgrade. Might be an upgrade. Yeet. 
Another good skinny one. Let's see if he's gonna be an upgrade. Oh yeah, yeah. If he'll hold still. That's a solid. Oh, he's 16. I think maybe some bass are cruising. I haven't seen them, but that one obviously was. I just threw out there and reeled in. He had a hold of it. So I'm gonna. I'm going around the corner. I'm gonna go back in another creek channel. And there's definitely fish out here. That's a 16 incher. You know, that's a. That's another upgrade. I'm gonna go ahead and add it on there. Well, I just got around back into this channel and got a fish pretty quickly. My plan is to fish that section right there. I've I've waded through some of these areas and I fish a lot of these areas off the banks. I kind of know them. That's why I went to these areas. Oh, a little guy. These little creek channels are full of little fish too. Some deer right there. <laughs> I came snuck up, snuck right up on a couple of deer. Oh, there's three of them, four of them. Oh, we're already, it's 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30. Whew, we got three and a half more hours to go. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to upgrade any or not, but I'm happy and I, I still got a couple places that I think I'm gonna be able to catch some fish. I don't know, so I gotta, I still gotta get like a 16 or bigger to upsize. That's, it's not bad. <laughs> I feel like my goal was to get top five. I like, I wanted to get over 50 inches at least, and then like top five. And uh, now that I've already got a good limit and everything, I'm kind of time to get greedy. I'm gonna eat something. Ooh, my stuff's still kind of cool. Hasn't really been, haven't really been out in the sun, so I got a sandwich, some chips, a little Mountain Dew. I'm gonna eat that, kind of get ready to, cause I got, I got a couple places I'm gonna go, maybe a little bit adventurous, and I doubt anybody else is gonna go to these places. <laughs> oh wow yeah we know you can tell we're going up the creek we got a big old green sunfish pretty little fish oh, there was a little bass there i had a bite i thought it was tiny it was bigger than i thought all right come on let me make it all the way up there. Oh yeah, that may be a solid fish. Holy cow, it was in half a foot of water up here. I tell people, you gotta go shallow, especially in the summer. Oh, I gotta get out and get him. He's stuck in the grass. So this was one of my plans that I knew Nivest was probably gonna do. Now look how skinny that thing is. That is a skinny bass. But I know they're up here, they get up here and they try to start eating again after spawning. It is 14 and a half, not gonna help us, but it's worthwhile and I think we're gonna catch a few more up there. There's all kinds of little bass in here. I didn't even realize, I don't know why they're not biting. I figured they'd be eating everything. There we go. That's a solid fish. There's a bigger one underneath it. Spotted bass. Oh my goodness. 
There's so many bass right here. That's crazy. I've fished this off the bank several times, never kayaked at this spot. There's so many different bass right here. 13 and a half. That's a fat one though. He's up here eating fat spotted bass. Still getting bites. We can fish all day, that's for sure. A little fat guy. Well, it's almost 12, Got so two hours left. Not sure where to go now. I kind of hit all the spots I'd planned to go. I've never fished off that wall. There's a boat going down it. But I've, I've, every time I've been here, I've never fished over there. So I think I'll just go over there and fish it for a little while. If I don't get nothing and I have time, I may go back up in the creek where I started. If he's gonna help or not. Well, it didn't take long to get one off the wall. Came out of that tree right there. Nice fish. I ain't help us out. Oh, this guy's a lot healthier than some of the other ones. That's a solid little fish. I actually saw him follow my bait out. I twitched it out and it came out of a tree and hit it. All right. Let's see how long he is. Let's get a picture of it. Nice fish. Short and stocky. He's over 15. I can't remember what my smallest one is now. He's 15 and a half. I'm gonna snap a picture. That's a little bit more, a little more respectable and uh, size of him though. 15 and a half, thick fish. What did I hook? What did I just hook? Please be a bass. Oh, I hope it is. I'm afraid it's a catfish. Dude, it's a big bass. He's, well, I don't know how big it is. I can't believe how strong this thing is. How, what, did I snag him or something? I'm pretty sure it's a bass, but I can't believe how hard he's pulling. Oh, it's a giant. Oh, <laughs> holy cow. Oh, it's a monster. Oh my goodness. This is a toad. Oh my. Let me get the hook out. He's barely hooked. Good thing I wasn't pulling too hard. Now this is a Chickamauga stud. Holy cow. Look at that. That's a six pounder, I think. Holy cow. I cannot believe I just caught this. Dude, this is a game changer. If I don't win today, somebody absolutely tore it up because this is one of my best days I've ever had of fishing. You know what, I didn't bring a scale. I remember, because I, I, I didn't bring very much stuff. Left it in the truck, so let me make sure I got that picture before we let this fish go. All right, one more look. Holy cow, that's a beast. That's what you come to Chickamauga for. All right, let's put it back in there. Oh, that thing was so strong. Oh my, 
That is awesome. About an hour and a half left to go, and I just catch that. I forget that uh, 17 that I lost. I don't care about that anymore. Oh man, this is gonna be one of my highest scores yet. I sure hope I can win this thing. There's about 30 anglers, and it's the biggest three fish. And I know there's other guys that catch fish like that. They're pretty good at it. I don't know. Got boats coming every which way. Dude. Oh man, I cannot believe that. <laughs> oh, I was just, I was hoping for a good day. I didn't know that I was gonna catch one of the biggest bass I ever got. That that was at least a six pound bass. I've caught a couple six pounders and it was it was a quarter inch shy of 22 inches. So it, it's definitely in that range. Makes me wonder if I should have came and fished this wall earlier or if, if I just had the right timing and everything just worked out the way it's supposed to. I was not even, I had, this was the, this area over here, this wall was like the last thing I thought to fish. I'm like if I don't have nothing else, I'll go fish it just to see. Never fished over here before. This is my third fish. I don't think he's long enough to help. I need a, over 16 and he's gonna be 13 and a half three fish and one of them probably in the top 10 biggest fish ever caught or biggest bass ever caught. No way. Oh, that's a solid fish. Oh, that's a, they might not be very long, but he's a solid fish. These guys are extra strong. You can tell the ones that have been eating good and the ones that haven't. The haven't ones are weak. These over here are strong and thick. Alright, no, not gonna. Nope, he's uh, not even just under 14. Not gonna help out, but thanks for waiting. So yeah, I've uh, gone through a whole pack that was uh, partially opened and I'm on a second pack. That's a good day of fishing. Yeah, you'd rather lures not tear up, but I've caught, most of them I've caught two or three fish per lure and then the ones I lose, are the ones I fish throw off. Plus the way I hook them, they do tear up. You can, you know, you. I started the very start of the day, I started with a wacky rig on an O-ring where I wouldn't tear it and I lost that fish. That was the first fish, that it was a good fish that I lost. So I'm like, I'm not doing it. I'm gonna go the way I like to do it and I have more confidence is just uh, weedless, either uh, weightless on this hook or the other one where I caught the, the biggest fish was on a 1 ounce um, offset hook with just a jig head on it. But yeah, they're gonna tear up, but um, they are worth it when you're catching good fish or when you're just catching fish and, and they catch fish. Uh, this is my last move. I moved across, just kind of across the channel here. Not too far from my truck. Only got a few minutes and then I'll probably go down here about 20 minutes on this wall or whatever this is. I, don't, I couldn't tell how deep it is when we were explore it. Like I said, cast a little fish. About 20 minutes here and then I'm about to uh, head back to the truck. Okay, I am heading to the meetup, which is like 15 minutes away. And we're gonna, it's at a barbecue place. I don't know if they're feeding us barbecue or we're gonna get to buy barbecue, but either way, I'm gonna be eating something as soon as I get there. Man, 
got hot today. Um, it's like 2.30 now, so I meet up and I'm gonna find out, did I win? I put up enough points to win, or enough uh, length, 58 inches even. That's a that's pretty good, that's, that's a solid day. Plus, I lost that over that one that was 17 and a quarter. I could have had over 59 inches, but I'm not worried about that. I made up for it with the extra, the two over 20. I should have big fish, and I should have the lead. I just don't know. I mean, there's you know eight and ten pounders caught out of Chickamauga all the time, but did one of the other 30 guys in the kayak tournament catch one? We're gonna find out when we get there. Oh, I'm kind of excited. This is pretty fun. It's nice to be in this spot. I'm not in this position very often, but um, I don't know. We're gonna see what happens, and I'll give a I'm gonna give a good recap and of everything and how I caught the fish and what I, why I decided to do what I did and everything when we get or after we get there and after everything's done. Gary Dodsley, Chris Franklin, John Bell, and Joby Bear. I'm up, boy. I'm up. Hey, Joby, you got your hand on the line. Hey, Get a little recap, um, and if you didn't show, if you didn't see it, yeah, I got you know, the got, I got here. the trophy here. The champ is here. It. Yeah, you want, you want to look, don't touch up there. It's like really pointy. It's like stabs you. Hey. <laughs> so I, basically, I had one of the best days I ever had fishing, and the fish were just all over the place. Stayed shallow, but you know, not everybody can win it. Josh is he's won enough over here, so I don't feel bad for him I've, not I've, winning. I've, yeah, yeah, I've won my fair share. So how'd yeah, you do today? What good. what happened? It was horrible, um, hot. Uh, I did catch a limit pretty early this morning. I ended up making one upgrade. I probably caught maybe nine, ten fish total. That was it. But you know, like I said, kept, kept catching twelves, twelve, twelve, and then I lost several fish too. So, heck yeah, dude. good job, John. Well, I had a game plan. I stuck to it. it worked out perfectly. Caught them all in the yum dinger. I threw a frog a little bit, but I didn't get any bites. But 58 inches. I'm, I'm happy. I'm really happy with that. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to repeat it, but I'll also give you some points for the. Uh, angle of the year and to be able to get to state hopefully so anyways thanks for watching man i'm still pumped about that this is like a week later that i'm finishing editing this video uh so so one of the goals was i've done it the last two tournament videos was pick like a lure or something that this is what i'm gonna go with the whole day the yum dinger and that was just a lure i knew was gonna work and it'd been on fire for me recently so i'm like i'll just pick it and fish with it all day and i is i'm so glad i stayed with it and I basically stayed with the same color. I, I tried a couple different colors, and there may be a fish or two I didn't add in there, but basically that, that same color, I threw the frog a couple times, and it was just killing it. So it, it was awesome, awesome to win the uh, win the trophy. Won like 600 bucks. Um, you know, these tournaments, a lot of them are 50 to $100 to enter into, but the ones we do are, are 40 or $50. Uh, I, I'm thinking about starting to enter in some of these bigger ones just because I'm getting more into it. Not that I think I'm getting, well, I'm definitely getting better at fishing, and not that I'm awesome or anything. I know these other guys have been doing it a lot longer, but it's just, it's just, it's more fun. It's fun to compete in it. It's just, a, it's just, it's just a different kind of challenge. I hope the videos come through uh, fine. I know this one was a long one and like, I don't know. I, I, it was hard to include everything, but I wanted to show everything that was involved in it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my next um, video uh, as far as lure wise. I definitely want to do something. I want to try to keep doing them until it's uh, like maybe back to winter and then I'll, 
I'm just trying to catch fish on whatever I can catch them on. But this next video, uh, next tournament, if I can do it, it'll be uh, in June, late June. And I, I don't know. I got a couple ideas. Um, maybe in July, August, those videos, I can have some fun changing it up. Maybe one rod or, or a different type of lure or a different um, kind of lure or one lure only kind of thing. So we're going to mix it around. Thanks so much for watching. If you made it all the way through, I really appreciate you staying with it. And uh, yeah, I was really excited about this video and I tried to show it all and um, I appreciate all the support I got from everybody and uh, everybody uh, can give me congratulations and everything, everything like that. Thanks.